My documentary film, which is an award-winning documentary, is called Vanishing of the Bees and it's narrated by Oscar-nominated actress Ellen Page and it follows especially two beekeepers over a span of about five years and um, explores colony collapse disorder which when it first was introduced in 2007 was considered quite a mystery because honeybees were found to be disappearing all over the world. Uh, today uh, in 2015 colony collapse disorder is not so much a mystery it's actually a mystery that uh, people are still wondering why the bees are disappearing. It's very obvious that uh, systemic pesticides all over the world that are manufactured by companies like Bayer Crop Science and Syngenta are um, killing the bees. Obviously there's a lot of different variables that come into play but at the root cause are these systemic pesticides which are, which are compromising the immune system of the bees. There were several challenges in making uh, a documentary film one uh, for George Langworthy and I, the directors, it was both our, our first uh, documentary feature that we were um, developing and obviously finances and raising the money was quite challenging. In regards to, to making this film, George Langworthy and I are both um, directors. So it's very interesting to, to look at the, maybe the dynamics. We, started, we, we were friends and we decided to develop a project together. Uh, when you look at the honeybees, bees are um, a female society. And uh, we touched upon themes of the sacred feminine. So it was interesting from my point of view to make a film with a man um, and regardless with another person. Um, obviously there were compromises of, had to be made. We spent four years traveling together. Um, in a sense it was very romantic because we got to travel the world, we got to be outside a lot in nature with the bees and uh, it, you know I was watching the movie the other day for maybe the millionth time and I still got you know tears in my eyes because it, it was a very very special uh, four or five years and it, it was quite challenging on a lot of different levels that will remain uh, left for my book. <laughs> it's an honor to be part of the Milano Film Festival and uh, I'm an activist and an independent content provider so I had to do a lot of fundraising to make it here and uh, so it's quite a feat um, and, and, an, and an honor to be part of a prestigious um, film festival and also the award that I won and uh, I feel uh, privileged and very grateful to, to be in Milano.